I used to listen to this it was a local radio station there, the AM station. Y'all even know what AM radio is? Amen. Amen. <laughs> Amen brother. brother Bobby's on at eight o'clock in the morning. Uh, he's, he's on the wall in here if you don't know who that is. But uh, he's, uh, he's about an hour, I guess, from us. And brother Bobby's running 5,000 Sunday school sometimes. They don't even count the 11 o'clock out. They run uh, about 45 to 50 buses. They bus in 3,000. 25, amen. 3, amen. I don't know about y'all, so I'm going to get my ride the bus, but uh, yes. somehow yes. Brother Bobby could do it. Amen. 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 It's just unreal. But they have having big 4,200 crowd Sunday schools and 4,600s and stuff like that. And, and he, 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 he come on, he'd come on the radio on Monday morning and say, Well, had 42, 65 Sunday schools. And he'd say, had 750 Sunday nights. I think, man, I'd probably resign. <laughs> <laughs> so I went from 5,750 in one service. <laughs> uh, on Thursday, that's no joke. On Thursday, we had about 250 last night. Now, if you can imagine this auditorium, I mean, it's, a, it's a, an edifice, you know what I'm saying? I mean, just unreal. But if I could go from 5,000 on Sunday to 250 on Wednesday night, I'd be a full time evangelist. <laughs> so, what I'm saying, this is a good crowd on Wednesday night. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. I mean, Amen. I don't preach in many big churches, but the ones I do, I mean, you you press the shore. Wednesday nights, amen, they fall off everywhere. <laughs> And this is a good crowd on Wednesday night. I appreciate, I appreciate, I appreciate you being here. Amen. Uh, Former amen. pastor, back him up for the Lord. Amen. 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 I always heard if you go to church on Sunday morning, uh, you love the Lord. If you go on Sunday nights, you love the church. If you go on Wednesday nights, you love your pastor. Amen. amen. So I appreciate you being here. Amen. Anybody else got something they want to say? Amen. Then I want to say, go ahead, sister. Um, I just want to brag on showed up Tuesday and blessed us beyond measure. Um, and I just want to brag on that. Amen. 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 God's taking them tears and he's putting them in That's a little right. box. Yeah. 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 Amen. And then one day he'll give them to you and say, this, yeah, is, very this is the joy that we share together. <laughs> Amen. 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 He's following up. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Altars open at all times. Amen. Amen. I don't think I have to say it, but I mean, Amen. If, you, if, 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 if I'm preaching and you feel led to come, I'll let you come. That's right. That's right. That's right. I want you to mind God this week. And uh, I, I'm going to say something. I hope you say that line. But I, I'm going to make, make a statement. And I think it's a help. And I have to, I have to say this all the time in our place. But uh, if, hey, if there's any possibility somebody's ever lost That's right. in our midst, Christian folk ought to be on the altar to pray. That's right. That's right. Amen. That's right. Amen. Now, what are we going to expect the sinner walking out? That's right. We so bashful, we won't get down here and pray. Amen. 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 We'll get down here and pray for them, man. And then they'll do a couple things. Number one, they'll realize somebody's praying for them. Amen. Amen. Secondly, it'll give them some room that they, they, they'll, feel, they'll feel worse standing there by themselves. Right. Amen. Amen. I'm telling you, that's one thing to be under conviction. Amen. That's another thing to be under conviction and shame yeah. yourself. Amen. Amen. Ain't nobody standing there but you and God and the preacher looking at you. Amen. 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 I mean, if nothing else, they'll come off to the high. You know what I'm saying? Amen. It'll be like Adam and Eve over there trying to hide themselves. Amen. 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 So. Just a word of advice. I don't, I don't charge you no know extra. <laughs> Amen. 
Mark chapter number two tonight. Very familiar text. In fact, I, I believe those Daniel ten may not be the most familiar text to most people, but but like but like Genesis one and two, you know, two yeah. and three. I learned this. Everybody start reading the Bible at the, the beginning of the year, go read the Bible or two. You'll be encouraged that if you read three chapters a day, you know, you can read it a year. Most people make it through day one. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. You know, so most people's read Genesis 1, 2, and 3. Amen. That's, that's a familiar text. That, you probably read that more times than any other time. Yes. Amen. Amen. Now, I, now, listen, I'm not trying to beat you up. I'm trying to hurt, I encourage you, not Preach. discourage you. Listen now. They, they got this thing years ago come out. You can just try to sell them on the advertisements and they'd say, get the DVD on the Bible, King James DVD on the Bible. And you can, you can, you can, it'll show it on your television screen and you can read it while it reads to you. Oh man, that's something. And then, and then the commercial would say, and God, this is what caught my attention about it. Caught my attention, number one, it's King James. Amen. Amen. Right there. A little bit shocking. And then, then it said this. It said 72 hours of continuous reading. That means you can read your Bible in three days. Amen. 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 What about that? Yeah. Three days. I got an uncle. He's he's a genius, and I hope he ain't watching on your say <laughs> Genius people are strange. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes, they are. They are. Yeah, man, brother. You know, somebody say, Jeff, read my Bible again this week. I know of a Bible. <laughs> Did y'all hear what I said? Yeah. yeah. This week. Y'all don't make us feel about that. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Amen. Daniel 10 is not very familiar, but Mark 2 is familiar too. A good friend of mine, Brother Charles Mustard, made this statement one time. He said it's the preacher's duty. Now, and I'm sure Brother Charles stole this because he never said anything this, this good in his life that wasn't somebody else's. But he has a way of making it sound good when he says it. Amen. Right. He said, it's the preacher's duty to make, make familiar things new. Amen. 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 Make familiar things new. What about that? Think about it. Now, yeah. things that you're familiar with, right. make them new. And to make those things that are old familiar. Yeah. Amen. Man, Amen. So when I read the text, I don't think, well, he's going to not say anything that I hadn't heard. Yeah. I'll try to do just the opposite. Amen. 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 Mark chapter 2, stand with me tonight. Man, I appreciate the singing tonight. Thank you for helping Amen. the congregations. Man, it's always a blessing to try to learn some new songs. Oh, yeah. Amen. 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 And you'll never learn if you just if you don't try. Amen. That's right. Some Amen. of them old songs, man, they're wonderful. They'll give you heart joy if you'll uh, if you'll listen to them. Mark two, we'll read about twelve verses here. Verse one again, he entered into Capernaum after some days, and it was noise that he was in the house. Straightway, many were gathered together, so much that there was no room to receive them. No, not so much as about the door. And he preached the word unto them. They come unto him, bringing one sick of the palsy, which was born of four. Well, they could not come nigh unto him for the press. They uncovered the roof where he was, and when they broke it up, they let down the bed where the sick of the palsy lay. And Jesus saw their faith. He said unto the sick of the palsy, Son, thy sins be forgiven thee. There were certain scribes sitting there and reasoning in their hearts. Why doth this man thus speak blasphemies? Who can forgive sins but God only? And neither when Jesus perceived in his spirit they so reasoned within themselves, he said to them, Why reason ye these things in your hearts? Whether is it easier to say to the sick of the palsy, Thy sins be forgiven thee, or to say, Arise, and take up thy bed and walk. But you may know that the Son of Man hath power on earth to forgive sins. Amen. He saith to the sick of the palsy, I say unto thee, Rise and take up thy bed, and go thy way into thine house. And immediately he arose, took up the bed, and went forth before them all, insomuch that they were all amazed 
and glorified God, saying, We never saw it on this passion, Father. Lord, we love you tonight. God, we're thankful for your goodness to us. Thank you, Lord, again for the privilege to be in the house of the Lord. God, it's been good. It's been a good week. And, uh, Lord, it's good Monday night and Tuesday night. I understand it was good on Sunday by Sunday night. And thank you, Lord, for touching the sick. And thank you for strengthening us. Lord, thank you for refreshing us in spirit up to this point. God, tonight I pray that you be mindful of us again for just yes, a few minutes. Lord, help us. God, we don't want to take it lightly. Lord, that we've been given the privilege to be in the house of God on a Wednesday night. And God, there may be some that are missing, but God, to the those under the sound of our voice, God, we came once again hungering and thirsting. Yes. Lord, for righteousness. Yes, Lord. God, you promised us in your word that we'd be people. So I pray now tonight, God, as we come, Lord, with our mouths wide open, Lord, I pray that you fill us. Do something great and supernatural, Lord, in our midst again. Lord, we're not asking for a duplication, but we are desiring your presence, Lord, among us. God, meet with us and stir us in. Yep. Lord, help us, God, as a needy people. And Lord, we'll be careful to thank you for it and to praise you. We ask in Jesus' name tonight. Amen and amen. Amen. Seated. I want to draw our attention down to verse number four. The Bible said, and, uh, When they could not come nigh unto him for the press, they uncovered the roof where he was, and when they had broken it up, I want to draw our attention to, I guess, eight of the next 12 words. It'll be four, three, then four, and then one. But notice these four. They let down thee, and then, and I'm not trying to destroy the text. I will preach the text, but I want to draw a thought just by introduction here they let down and notice the sick of the palsy they let down the sick of the palsy I've been in this long enough now that I do have an inkling of some things that take place in the house of God and amongst God's people I was, I was raised in church and uh, to the time I was I guess about 14 years old after I began to make my own wrong decisions and be my own Lord, my own God, and yeah. uh, got away from God, the things of God, till I was saved at 27 years old. But uh, and since then, I, I've been very faithful ever since then. Uh, but what I'm saying is I've been around it long yeah, enough right. now. The, yes, and outside, I guess, just those... Uh, 13 years I've been around the things of God for 37 plus years now I know a few things about it I've been pastoring be 20 years in, in, in June and I've been preaching now for 22 years been saved 23 years I know a little thing about a little bit about what takes place in the house of God and what I have learned in those years and uh, me, I, I can say a lot of things I have learned but I want to uh, speak specifically not about one thing that I've seen to be common. And this is Wednesday night, so understand this is church people. This ain't visiting churches. Uh, this is, this is, this right here is London Baptist Church. Somebody say amen. Now, that being said, I, I, I want you to see here that I've noticed that uh, in my time that I've seen some people that have been let down. Right. Here we have a description of a man that had been let down. I know that it's speaking physically that right. he'd been let down. They right. physically lowered him. They let him down. But just as a small play on the words tonight, I, I believe that I can say that we have emotionally been let down. Amen. We have uh, physically Amen. been let down. We've Amen. spiritually been let down. Uh, We've been mentally let down. I, 
I believe we can go on and on about how a child of God, the believers, uh, inside the wall, been let down. Can I, is that right? Amen. Amen. I, I see nothing any different about this fellow since they, so somebody, a group of people, had let him down. I want you to notice by introduction a few things tonight. I want you to notice, first of all, his condition. It says here that he is sick of the palsy. It begins to describe uh, his condition. Now, uh, there's several different types of palsy. Uh, preachers tell me yesterday of love, he, he suffered from Bell's palsy. Amen. There's cerebral palsy. Amen. There's Ed's palsy. There's palsies I can't even say. Amen. 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 There's all kinds of palsy. Uh, but somehow they all kind of intertwined together. Amen. I have a great nephew. Boy, that makes you sound old, don't it? I've got a great nephew that, this will really make me sound old, that's 16 years old. And uh, uh, he was uh, uh, he was born with a genetic disorder on his fifth chromosome. Uh, it would be, if I, if, I, if I say it right, it's CDKL, I missed one, CDLK5. That is a uh, de de degenerate uh, degeneration in the fifth chromosome. Now, uh, in early stages, and when I say early, I mean just a few months after birth, it would be very similar to a child that was born with cerebral palsy. Amen. From that, I, so I have, I have, uh, they were going to our church when it started, he was about three months old, he was born in uh, April, and then I guess it was uh, July, August, it's our vacation Bible school week, he started having epileptic seizures. That's common in uh, cerebral palsy also. Amen. Um, and again, to uh, uh, watch him and study him, it's a long time. I mean, it was years. He's probably four or five years old before they ever got, uh, got him diagnosed with what was really wrong with him. Uh, part of that because that, uh, it's not very common for uh, a child, a boy, to have that. Now, see, every one of us have an X chromosome. Women have two Xs, and men have an X and a Y. Uh, therefore, the women have more of a chance, almost double, just naturally, yeah. uh, to develop this uh, this uh, genetic disorder on that fifth chromosome. I'm saying all that to say this. So, while he was early in this, uh, uh, they were studying, trying to uh, decide if he had cerebral palsy. So, with my nephew and his wife, and then, of course, I'm, I'm reading, they're reading, the doctors are reading, everybody's trying to figure out uh, about does he have cerebral palsy. Now, the way I understand it, and I know they, and it does differ some with males, but with cerebral and, and Ebb's palsy, these were both, big, both of these would be very, very simple. I won't touch yours, I'll just call it by name. We don't even have time to talk about something that won't make application, amen. But here, listen to me now. With those two, uh, what you'll find in these type of palsies is that uh, uh, one, of, one, one of three things happens. Uh, first of all, uh, they say that it means, there's a definition of it, it means a loss of sensation. Yeah. Or just a loss of feeling. You yeah. just Amen. can't feel it anymore. Yeah. Amen. 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 Uh, it just doesn't have... Any fit, you understand what I'm saying? I mean, the feeling was once there, but now yep, yep. all of a sudden it's gone. Oh, that's good. Uh, they say that if you take uh, uh, one of these children in that, in that range of zero to six months old, especially from three to six, when uh, their neck should begin to develop, when you would lift a child and his head would come up with him, but uh, with cerebral palsy, that neck would stay flimsy and, and limp. Uh, just to hold them in, in your hands like this and let them stretch out then instead of uh, being floppy now all of a sudden they'll freeze up and get kind of stiff. I know my great nephew, he'd just about jump out of your hands. Uh, he'd get so stiff. So it seemed like all these things were uh, leading to the possibility that he had this cerebral palsy. Now, now listen, what I'm saying is that uh, it started by just simply 
a loss right. of sensation right. or loss of feeling. Right. Right. I believe tonight, I believe I can say this, that there are some folks that have been let down. Yeah. And because of that, they have developed some spiritual type of palsy. Yeah. A spiritual yeah. palsy, yeah. if you will. Yeah. I mean, it once was there. I mean, yeah. you yeah. could see amazing grace. Yeah. Man, they yeah. throw their hands up yeah. in the air. Yeah. Yeah. Tears and strength yeah. down their face. Yeah. They yeah. glorify God. Yeah. They exalt the Savior. Yeah. They thank Him for what He's done in their life. Yeah. But then all of a sudden something happens. Yeah. Something hurts their feelings. Amen. Something that right. uh, disturbs the stride and movement uh, in their Christian walk. Uh, then all of a sudden they just don't feel it anymore. Uh, it's like they lose the sensation. Uh, they lose the sound. Uh, it's like they can't be moved. Uh, I don't care how good the preaching is. Amen. I don't care how good the invitation is. It's Amen. like nothing Amen. touches them anymore. Amen. And it's not that they're not touched. Amen. It's just they don't feel it. Amen. 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 Oh, That's good. Gosh, told that. Amen. One of the key characteristics that traits this commission is it's a loss of sensation. Then they said, Secondly, there's another thing. It could be not a loss of sensation, but the loss of the power of motion. Amen. Mm -hmm. Or the ability to move yeah. anymore. Huh? Yeah. Amen. Amen. They just don't move anymore. We used to spend time at the altar. Amen. Now they don't need it. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. They used to, no, they used to try to good. God said this, draw nigh and draw nigh to me, and I will draw nigh to you. Amen. He said, Come unto me. We've got stuck in a place of complacency. Amen. Been hit with spiritual palsy. Uh, when we just won't move toward God anymore. Yeah. They used to they used to move to show up for soul in it. Uh, yeah. And visitation. Come on, from brother. Door to door, uh, from building to building. Uh, and from place to place. Uh, but when they get the spiritual palsy, uh, they quit moving. Uh, and just won't do. Uh, it's like they freeze up. Uh, you remember what you remember what Stephen said? Uh, Oh, therefore they stoned him to death. Yeah. He said, you stiff neck. Come on. And circumcised in heart. Amen. You always resist the Holy Ghost as your fathers did. Amen. Amen. So did. Amen. What he's saying, they've got stiff neck. They've got the God blessing. Amen. Spiritual palsy. Amen. He couldn't move on that. God couldn't move on that. Yeah. Could nothing move on that. They're searching a tide. My oh, spiritual pulse. Amen. 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 That's good. Yes, amen. amen. They say with that, what you'd see now, remember zero to six months, it'd be floppy and stiff. It's just no feeling. They say when they begin to be between six and 12 months, and they should start crawling. Can I get a witness? You ought to be able to be a witness on this. Amen. <laughs> Maybe even developing how to sit up and to crawl yeah, right. and to walk. They say those that have been affected by the palsy, they take one hand and the leg of the same side and they pull themselves. The other side would just collapse and slide up underneath them. Mm -hmm. hey Amen. Even Amen. when they try to move, it's awkward. Right. Come on, bro. That's good. Yeah, yeah that's right. Amen. Hey Amen. Even when they try to move, they try to look like they fit in. Amen. Try to look like everybody else shows on them that and I'm not being mean when I say this, but their deformity is showing on them. And I say it's no different with spiritual palsy. They'll try to move, but everything about them will seem awkward and abnormal. And everybody will be able to tell that something that was once there is not there any longer. 
Amen. You know, here's what I found out next. The very worst case of palsy is not those that have a loss of sensation or even those that have a loss of motion or motor skills or mobility. But the worst is those that have both. Amen. Amen. Yeah. They no longer feel it. Yeah. Right. Amen. Right. They're no longer moved. On, Everything man. about them inside the house of God, Amen. church function seems awkward and abnormal. Yeah. 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 You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh -huh. here's, what, here's what they told us. They said, well, this generally happens one of three times. First of all, it would be birth. <laughs> Amen. Oh, yeah. Amen. There's just something wrong with them. Yeah. Yeah. Tender birth. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. How Amen. 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 Wasn't we all born? A little birth of it. David said, from my mother's womb, yeah. was I shaping in iniquity. Yeah. I mean, inside my first birth, I was a hell-bell sinner. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Verily, verily, I say unto thee, except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. I'm going to say clearly, inside our natural birth, we all had a defect. Amen. 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 Nor did we have the ability to move. Amen. If it wasn't from God, we were Amen. How we all from Oh, that's good. Amen. 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 Not only the birth defect, but there is the, the second greatest cause would be a bad fall. Yeah. Causes head trauma. Head trauma. Amen. Can you hear me? Amen. Well, Adam sinned in the garden. Yeah. Yeah. In the day of. Amen. 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 In, uh, entered in, uh, yeah. it entered in by Adam and because he fell, uh, we all fell. Uh, yeah. He's been set up with him to shed, uh, he is crippled yeah. by fall. Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. That old nurse picked him up when the tidings uh, of Jonathan, his daddy, uh, and on. saw his pappy die. Uh, yeah. The tidings came, they swept him up. Uh, no, it is an heir to the throne. They should try to get away and run with him. But she dropped him. He fell. And he was crippled by a fall. On a Satan night, we was all crippled by a fall. But Adam dropped that strike down. Glory to the sin. It's gonna take something uh, to get us up, uh, but we'll stay in the mess. Amen. 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 It's bad. Oh, yes. <laughs> infancy. Then first, have to be they say, let's read a palsy, birth, or that bad fall in first twenty-eight days. What they say, earth. 28 days. The reason why they had to watch him so long in that first year, he still had all the traits and he was dropped as a boy, as a baby when he came home to the hospital. Did his head, huh, you hear me? Huh? Yeah. yeah. He had all the other traits begin to fall wide up there. Mm -hmm. Palsy. My God, it falls in the same lines as it yeah. does on you and me. Yes. Yeah. Both the factor. A bad fall or the third way it happen is a, a bacterial infection. Now your Bell's palsy can be 
caused by bacterial infection, right. even a virus, anything on the lungs, but yeah, like the Ebbs palsy and that cerebral palsy, when it comes on the child like that, spinal meningitis or something, that, and then bacterial infections that gets inside the bloodstream. There's a problem with the blood. Yeah. Uh, Come on. Yeah. It's been infected by something yeah. that it can't fight off yeah. on its own. Is that not what happened to us? Yeah. Sin flowed to our bones. Oh, we couldn't fight it off on our own. Right. I thank the good Lord from above yeah. that yeah. sent the darling Son of God to thank die yeah. on Calvary for the sin Amen. of the whole world. And once we tap into Emmanuel's ways, I'm glad as old uh, William Cowper said, uh, and sinners plunge uh, beneath that blood. Amen. And those all in their guilty stands. I sink my in the joy. My blood's not good enough. Uh, it's tainted. Uh, it's infected by the disease of sin. Uh, but I'm glad there's the pure blood. Uh, Amen. 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 I see if we're considering how could this boy be let down, we'd have to say just the condition be enough to be spiritually let down. Amen. I see that picture of the spiritual palsy. But not only the condition, I want to say this, listen, I hope y'all are no hurry. Preach on, brothers. Preach on. Secondly, I see, and this is the introduction, I ain't preaching yet, I'm talking to you. Amen. It's going to, the next 25 minutes, I ain't going to count. Yeah. Amen. Secondly, Preach on, preacher. Secondly, it's the crowd. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. Yeah. Right. That crown will let you down. Yeah. Get yeah. yeah. some help. Yeah. Right. yeah. yeah. Amen. 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 Notice in verse 2 and straight where many were gathered together, insomuch that there was no room to receive them. But boy, I want you. You can't come in here. You're not part of our crown. Right. 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 You can't come in here and you. Not part of my crowd. See, uh, this so boy, I just call this out to you. Y'all know where I'm coming from. Verse 4 it says, He could not come nigh unto him for the press. See, that crowd wouldn't even let him get close to him. Amen. Oh, amen. Yeah. I heard this story about this girl that thought she couldn't get saved because her hair wasn't long. Amen. 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 Come on, brother. Amen. 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 You don't fit in with the crowd. Amen. 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 That's right. uh, That's I right. can imagine he's probably laying there thinking, uh, Come on, I'm not good enough. Amen. Amen. Hey, they don't want me in there. Nobody's going to move over. Let me in. Yeah. He fell back. Yeah. He just didn't fit in. Yeah. I don't know about you, yeah. but I remember I was lost. Yeah. Fit in with the crowd. Man, he couldn't fight in yeah. from the condition. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, even, I mean, I know there's five of them. Five's the number of grace. Somebody help me with that. I'm going to tell you right now, if there wasn't enough room for them, there might have been enough room for him. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's good. Man. Oh, that's good. Come on. Yeah. That is what it said, but. There was no room to receive them. Yeah. 
And when they could not come down here. See, they might not have been enough room for five, but they just get to the one there. Amen. 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 Come on. Amen. 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 Yeah. Amen. 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 But, but listen, he didn't have the ability. He defined right. his way in. Yep. Right. yep. Amen. That palsy right. had him so bad. Yeah. You ever seen somebody been struck by spiritual palsy? Yeah. They used to shout. They yep. used to show up. Uh -huh. I didn't tie them with a GPS. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, brother. Preach that, brother. Amen. Yeah. 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 Cry, yeah. pray, and shout. Yeah. Yeah. You can't tie them at the house of God. Yeah. 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 But they don't have the ability. Yeah. They're so beat up by the palsy. Yeah. Yeah. They can't get up and get here. Yeah. They're struggling. Yeah. See how weak and paralyzed. They had their sails knocked off. Yeah. There ain't no way they could get in here. Amen. 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 Yep. Amen. Amen. This old boy couldn't flee in from the circumstances. Yeah. Oh, that's good. Think about these. Circumstances here, real quickly. I mean, let me say it like this: the omnipotent is preaching. Yep. Amen. Yeah. Wow. Amen. 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 Notice it says in verse two in the closing, it says, "And he talking about the word yeah. preached Amen. the word." Amen. 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 Yeah. And Curtis Hudson's wasn't there. Tommy <laughs> Hudson wasn't there. Bobby Robertson wasn't there. Billy Sandler or Charles Spurgeon wasn't there. Amen. Amen. Charles Finney wasn't in town this Come week. On, the Apostle Paul wasn't there. Amen. Amen. The Word Himself. Amen. The Logos. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. You know, you look pretty intelligent. If I make you a sign right here on a pair of shoes, you know what that is? Help him out, Dad. What is that? Yeah, swoosh. That Nike swoosh. Hey, Amen. You know what? You don't even have to. Y'all been around a little longer, I guess. You don't even have to. I don't have to say the word. You know what yeah. it is? Yep. It identifies. That's, yes, that's, right. the, that's the logo with the logos in the Greek. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Right here, the logos. Yeah. yeah. Right. Amen. Yeah, that's right. Identify. Hey, man. Yeah. 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 That's good, brother. Amen. Oh, he didn't have to coat the King James Bible. He was the King James Bible. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you make sure he ain't messing up. Yeah. Amen. Hey, man, he's, he's dotting every I, crossing Amen. every T, oh, every jaw, yes, every oh, tittle, yeah. every stroke of the cold yeah. pen yeah. that oh. touched the parchments. Here it comes. Yeah. The word preached the word. Amen. 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 Oh, that's good. Amen. Oh, that's good. Hey, there's some there for the cure. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. They heard he's curing folk. Yeah. Amen. You, you know, like in chapter, in chapter one, you can read, I mean, I ain't going to read them all, but I mean, it just for uh, verse 42, as soon as he had spoken to me to the leprosy was departed, he's casting out devils. Amen. He's, he's here healing leprosy. Yeah. Uh, he, he's touching all kinds of people right here in chapter number one. I mean, some of them's there just for the cure. Amen. Yep. Right. Come on. Then some of that crowd, they're there for the curiosity. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Oh, that's, good. that's good. You don't blame any of them scribes, but there were right. certain of the scribes. That's right. Hey. There. Now they didn't come to hear what he had to say. Listen, they come there to critique. Yeah. 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 Why yeah. 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 doth this man speak blessings? Right. Who can forsake, right. forgive right sins but God only? Yeah. Woo. Amen. Amen. Huh? Oh, Some man just out of curiosity. Yeah. Yeah. Some man yeah. critique him. Right. Some man is for the cure. Right. There's a lot of circumstances. I mean, did I tell you the omnipotence preacher? Amen. I mean, the all power. Amen. 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 Omnipotent, all power is given unto me. Amen. Heaven and earth. Go ahead. Heaven and all power is said. Not, not some power, but all power is given Amen. Amen. I mean, the omnipotent, right. sovereign God universe, yes, all sir. power is still ahead, there preaching, preaching yes, the words, preaching the word. Amen. Amen. 
Amen. Amen. So that's a pretty big circumstance. Yeah. Yeah. Then, then, listen, the outcast, that's him. He, he's paralyzed. Yeah. That's a pretty big circumstance. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I mean, they said, I mean, uh, we ought to thank him for getting there. But at some point, they probably said, I ain't going to let us in, man. Sorry, right. we tried. And I'm sure, you know, if he could, he said, well, I saw him just let me down right here. I'll get in there. But he can't. Right. That's right, brother. He can't get in there. No, sir. Right. And then, on top of all that, when I take the circumstances into, into thought, on top of all that, then the obstacle is powerful. Right. One of the boys said, I got an idea. Or maybe it's the boy laying back on that cow car. And all he can do is look up. Uh, uh, yeah. 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 Amen. Yeah. Yep. Anyway, one of them said, Yeah, man, I got an idea. <laughs> Get me up there. Yeah. Hey, man. Hey, man. Yeah. Now, you got to understand how this thing's laid out. You know, it's an upper room. Y'all familiar with hey, the upper room? And yeah. most y'all picture. A barn stable, that's not really how it works. That's the bottom floor. Amen. Mm -hmm. That's where they park them animals, you know. Yeah, there's no hey Amen. Y'all understand that in is the yeah. same word for upper room. Amen. Mm -hmm. There's no room for them in the end. That meant there's no room for them in the upper room. So now I'm just trying to get you a picture yeah. of how the foundation of this house would yeah, be laid. So so we had the downstairs like the basement. And then we have the upstairs. So he said, If you'll just get me up there, yeah. I'm sure somebody said. Amen. Amen. Come on. Right. Amen. That's right. Yeah, I guarantee it. Right. I mean, honestly, I, right now, at this point, I've been thinking, I ain't going up there by myself, boss. Let the law carry you up there with me. Amen. Yeah. Come on, man. Amen. I, I, let, let's just do this. This fellow's probably pretty big. He's He's been on this cot for God knows how long. Amen. Amen. I'm sure he's probably not eating well, but everything he's eating, he's not burning at all. Amen. 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 So let's go outside, and this is a what story. Won't y'all put me on a towel before y'all get together and take me up on the roof? With, I, I didn't see with those splatter toters. They didn't have the scaffold in their back pocket. Somebody take up. I'm telling the obstacle yes, was powerful. Yes, this yes, looked bigger yes, than yes, man. Yes, this yes, is yes, going to yes, take yes, something bigger than a man yes, on the bed. Yes, it's going to take something bigger than the brethren that brought him. Yes, it's yes, going to take God yes, on the yes, scene. Yes, if this yes, is yes, all, yes, going to come to yes, Amen. That's right. Yes, sir. Amen. Amen. The Bible said... Them four words, and they let down D. We skip three words that said sick of the palsy. Amen. They let down the sick of the palsy. I want you to notice verse number 12 with me this evening. I want you to remember the eight words I've read to you. Verse 12 says, and immediately he arose. Yes. Amen. Woo. Amen. Woo. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Woo. Right. The Lord's help. Glory to God. I'm going to preach on this subject. Preach on it. Yeah. So, yeah. Being let down. Amen. But immediately getting up. Yeah. Amen. Amen. We've all been let down. Yeah. Yeah. I'm glad you're still here. They suddenly got palsy worse than y'all. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. 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 We've all been let down. Yeah. Yes, sir. I'm telling you, God's plan's never. For us to stay down. That's right. The end result is for us to immediately not not knock down the road. Uh, on, I mean, we get knocked down when the wind's been let of our sails. Uh, when we get floorboarded. Uh, when on, somebody man. hurts our last little feeling. Uh, when somebody didn't uh, shake oh, our head today. Yeah. Answer back fast enough on the text message. Yeah, uh, but didn't follow you on Facebook. Uh, I mean, I got a little all them terrible tragic. Things happen, and it seems a blinding blow to our head, and it strikes us with, with spiritual palsy. I'm telling you, God don't want us to stay down. God wants us to immediately get up and get back to where God is and get back to someone else. Amen. Amen. Yes, sir. Amen. 
Amen. Three things real quick. Three things real quick. And I'm through. But how to get home and tell you how he got up. You apply in your life. Number one, here's how you get up. Number one, notice this, the Lord's in the house. Amen. 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 And again, he entered into Capernaum after some days, and it was noised that he was in the house. Yep. Amen. Yep. Hey you know how I keep getting up. Preach on, preacher. Yeah. I go where he's at. Amen. Hey Amen. Oh, as long as I keep going where he is, yes, sir. somehow or another, somehow, yep. I just keep getting up. Knock me down and I just keep going where yes, he is. Amen, Thank God I keep getting up. Yeah. Hey Amen. Amen. I keep, hey, just keep going to the Lord's house. Yes, it's the Lord's house. It's where the Lord is. Thank God there's hell. Yeah. Amen. Listen, listen, listen. If he's in the house, notice three things about that. Notice it's noised. It says here it was noised that he is in the house. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. You don't think for one minute that everybody that was here last night didn't tell somebody. Amen. 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 Boy, that's good. Amen. Amen. That's good for you. Bless God, they wore ear, ear, inside their brain. Stopped up their ears and got yes, spiritual ear palsy. Because if you were here, you told somebody. Amen. I'm telling you, I, I got in my car. And I, we, get it, it's 1230. Yes, sir. Isn't that right? Yeah. I was texting my song right I said, I know you in the bed. <laughs> It sent me two, like, fist pumps already. Yeah. Pow, pow, yeah. back to back. Preach on, man of God. So I sent him back what was going on. Amen. Yeah. I text another one. I said, I know it's late and you're in the bed. You know, it's kind of a good idea if you're going to be there on Wednesday night and get somebody to preach for you. I didn't told nobody. Right. <laughs> so I know it's late, but you better be ready tomorrow night. Yeah. Amen. If there's any problem, let me know. I have text back at 120. must have turned over and felt it. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be ready. Amen. Amen. Uh, if you listen. Amen. You know yeah. what I was telling us? is a blowout. Yeah. 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 I thought I was talking to Brother Dallas today. I said, man, you ain't going to believe it. Yeah. I said, it's a bunch of crowd like us. Amen. Got saved by the grace of God. Amen. Storefront 2003. We moved our building that we're in now in 2010. This, this preacher had called me at his church. He was him. He's 71. His wife was 70. His mom was 95. And there was a deacon there and his wife, and they was well in their 60s. Yeah. That's all I was there. And he called me. He said, he said Brother Jeff, he said, we, we, we've been watching what you're doing down there. And uh, I just called you to tell you that we want to give you our building. Amen. It was written, it was written four, four stores for us, four of them. Yeah. We, had, we had four light bills. Amen. We had four water bills. Amen. And uh, one of them was a double occupancy, about 2,000 square foot feet. Yeah. The other three was a thousand. We had, them, we had half the whole shopping street yeah. mall Amen. rented out. Amen. Started renting the one. And then the other within two weeks, and this charismatic outfit moved in behind us. Yeah. If it gets my back, yeah, amen. amen they missed two serves. I called and said, I want that building. Yeah. Rented that building. Amen. 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 And then as soon as the next one got up, we rented it too. Amen. amen. But I'm going to tell you right now, 
Can't do much if you got four light bills. Right. Four water is minimum, 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 I think $60 a month on the water. Right. We had four of them, that's 240. Yes, sir. We had, we had, we had four light bills, our, our light bills, $1,200, dollars a month. Yeah. <laughs> but I, that old, that old guy, old Jew that owned them buildings, he just liked me for whatever reason. Had a good deal to build back, kind of like what you was talking about, that, uh, you know, that one place. He said, he said, he said, sixteen hundred a month on that two thousand, the one I was going to rent to start with. And I said, look here, man. I said, I don't even know if anybody's coming. I just got eight hundred dollars in my pocket. Right. I said, I, and I, again, I don't know how I'm going to pay you that next month, just to be honest with you. But if you'll take this eight hundred dollars, I'll sign a lease. He said, if you'll give me that eight hundred dollars, we'll write one up. And he went in there. He crossed out everything on there. Yeah. And initially yeah. changed it. Yeah. Amen. Yeah, man. Oh, amen. That's good. Amen. Yeah. We had, we had, so we got to go buy chairs. I had to a contractor friend of mine. I was pretty sure he'd come. I was pretty sure he'd come. He just left his church. In fact, we had a service in his house. And I had to preach out the next week. And then we were going to start the next week. I called him and said, hey, I'm in the building. I said, uh, I said, y'all, listen, this is the truth now. I just don't sound funny. It was a Hispanic, a Hispanic novelty. Shop, and I'm saying as nice as I can. They had they had little stars and moons yep. on the ceiling and ribbons hanging from the air. And yep. Had a blue yeah. wall. Yeah. And I said, I said, we're in the building. I said, but I'll, I'll buy for you to come. I said, if you can't, that's fine. I said, whatever it costs, I'll pay. But I, I need some things. I said, I need this place painted. I need a platform built. I need, I need, yeah, amen. Yeah, amen. Yeah, yeah. Amen. He said, he said, I'll be there Monday. Go walk in. And he looked around and he said, All right. He said, Can I have a key? I said, Sure. Well, and before I could even leave, yes, I mean, 30 minutes. I mean, there's the, the whole place being demolished. I mean, they're knocking down walls there. I mean, Glory to yeah. God. Glory. Never, 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 never paid a dime to it. We had church Sunday, so I need 44, I need 44 chairs. I had to ride to three different staples to have white chairs. Want to look good, good. You don't have the chairs, I don't want metal chairs, but I'm going to get some white flash ones that look better. Yeah. Rode all over three, I mean, Winston, Salem, Kernersville, yeah. High Point, I went mean, all over the place. Right, you had to match, see? Had to look right. Yeah. yeah. She said, why do you need four? Well, ain't even nobody coming. I said, I don't know. God said 44. Right. That's right. Amen. 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 So Amen. 38. Amen. 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 What was those six four case of misery case? Right. Yeah. Amen. 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 We moved from that building. We moved from that building. The first, the first service, the first service in, in the in the other building. It's smaller than what we had. I mean, we downsized. But we were, that joker said, he said, we'll give you our building. So we'll give you a building. We'll give you sixteen thousand dollars to take it. We'll sign it over. You can be your name. And, uh, Amen. And, we'll, we'll, Amen. and if you let us, we'll join your church. Amen. Amen. You know, I'm spiritual, so let me pray about it. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I kind of like paying four rents, four yeah. water bills, yeah. four yeah. water bills, yeah. and, and, and three buildings and sixteen thousand dollars and seventy dollars. I'm spiritual, so let me pray about it. Yeah. Yeah. I had on speakerphone, hung up, and she said, she said, did he say what I think he said? I said, yes. She said, well, you told him what? I said, I was going to pray about it some more. He'll get done. <laughs> I don't have time to call anybody else. <laughs> and I said, you know, something spiritual. I said, look, bro, that's more further we want to go. But can I see? They said, sure, I'll meet you right now. Move around and look at it. Next, next is 10 miles. You know, but and then off the off the off the interstate and just a little bit of 10 miles and off about two and off about two. And uh everybody agreed to go and that was great. So then some of them lie, you know. Yeah. But that first service in that building had been seven years since we started storefront. First, the first, the first Sunday, 130 people in. Glory to God. 130 people in that first Sunday, we moved in. Now, now listen to me. You gotta know that them neighbors in that neighborhood, it, they they watched them two cars pull in. Yeah. Amen. See, they, they 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 didn't see that they didn't have a parking lot. Yeah. Well, no right. need for them. Two cars. Right. That's right, brother. They, they, had, they did have a circle drive. You just drove in this side of the church and you got done, drove all around and left. Right. <laughs> yeah. Amen. 
Amen. So now, I don't get too far into it. We spent about $60,000 on the building. We need a lot of work just to, just to build a meeting. You know what I'm saying? Including like a parking lot. Like somebody could put a yeah, parking lot. Yeah, that's right. When it's February and March, if we don't put some gravel somewhere, we're going to sink. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's right. right. That's right. Yeah. That first service, all them cars pulled in. They've been singing two cars. Yeah. They'd seen that old man and his wife and, 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 and his 95 year old. I mean, at this point, none of them's going to be alone. Right, that's right, brother. Time's telling on them. Right. That's right. okay. Look, if yeah, you don't know the people die of old age, I'll just let you know it right now. <laughs> <laughs> My grandpa died in January. He's 94. Amen. Right, I mean, he knew it was going to happen. Yeah. yeah. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Every time I'd say, this might be the last time, son. Every time I'd say. Amen. Amen. It'd be a common conversation. We had to discuss, this is it. Every yeah. time, just in case this was just it. Just in case right. it was. Amen. You know what? It was noticed. Yeah, right. You you tell me if the Lord's looking, but if the Lord's in the house, I don't know how long it's been since God been by there that morning, buddy. God's all over that place. Yeah. 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 I'm giving an example yeah. just right here. We walked in over at that place to eat on Tuesday. I didn't know that woman from Adam's house came out. You don't want to name Cat? You know, you know, Adam named that Cat Cat. I, I didn't know I didn't know that woman Cindy more than Adam's house cat. Yeah. Amen. And she said, What church y'all from? You know what? I tell you, you come here today, you run behind me, but did y'all tell them we was with a church group? That joker asked us. He said, He said, What church group y'all with anyway? Amen. Y'all hear me? Yeah. Hey, when they started, Cindy did the same look. Yeah, yeah. I'm telling you, if the Lord yeah. shows up, it's noticed. Yeah. They'll see God yeah. on you. Yeah. You know what got him up? Yeah. The Lord's in the house. And if he's in the house, it will be noticed. Yeah. 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 One house are y'all from? Yeah. Amen. It's noticed. That's good. Yeah. That's good. It's noticed. Yes, sir. I believe this. It's needed. Yeah. Yes, sir. Amen. They reasoned. They reasoned. And the scribes, they reasoned around six and seven. They reasoned in their hearts. That's right. Question God. Yeah. yeah. It says, read on down there, but Jesus perceived. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. This is where I'll tell you why it's needed. When you start asking why and how, and when that palsy starts striking you and starts changing the way you feel and the way you move, it's a good thing for God to be in the house. Because if the Lord's there, he'll perceive it. And he'll specifically go right. He didn't have, he didn't have to ask them jack. That's right. That's right. He didn't say, he didn't say boy. What was you saying over there? Uh -huh. Hello? That's good, uh, That's right. He just perceived his heart and said, Hey, what difference does it make if I want to forgive sin? Or say it through the policy. Take up my blood. Yeah. Hey, no. yeah. Hello? Hello? Yeah. I'll tell you what happens, man. I'll tell you what will get you up when you're down. How you'll get a meeting of the Lord to the house. Amen. Amen. Secondly, secondly, tonight I believe at this point it happened to you. Secondly, the laborers helped. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I like that. Right. The laborers helped. Hey, Amen. It, it took a, a, a fruitful intent. Yes, I like that. Amen. Amen. Yeah. I mean, four went after one. Right. Amen. That's right. We, we, you know, I, I, it'd be great. It'd be great if everybody in here wins somebody God this year. Amen. Right. Amen. 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 I don't know about where, where y'all are, but I know where I'm from. It'd be great if four would get one. Yes. Yes. Amen. 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 It'd be good if everybody here got one. Right. But what if just these four got one? Amen. 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 Real good. And then four or three, four got two, and then one, two, three. So just right here, we picked up a whole nother road. Yes. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Then you four got just one. Amen. 
You, you see where I'm going with this? Yes. We yes. all just, uh, it takes a little bit of a fruitful. Yes. 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 You, you got to have a mind that you don't try to try to get somebody. Right. Amen. Yeah. My, my, my grandpa, I mean, he was my dad's dad. He's a sharecropper right, back in the 60s. Now, my, my dad, my grandpa didn't get saved till about then, right about this time. He got saved in, in, uh, when he was 45 years old, already 45 years old when he got saved. But uh, he's a sheriff. He got, thank God, God still has lived 49 years born again. I mean, sold out. Amen. I mean, I mean, God's man, never a preacher, but he's God's man. That's, That's good. Amen. Amen. That's good. Amen. 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 He's a sheriff and he had a, he had, so he, he worked at Pololar. You pray for him. He's in heaven now, but you still pray. Uh, Pololar, that's the tobacco company where I went to yeah, Salem. That's amazing. what North Carolina was all about was the 50s, 60s. Yeah. I mean, our, our number one crop is tobacco. Probably yeah. still. Amen. 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 But uh, he, 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 he worked up there in the, in the cigarette factory. He never smoked. He chewed one a while. Yeah. Amen. He didn't Amen. blow it out. He spit it out. Somebody yeah. said that. <laughs> Amen. He didn't blow smoke, but he 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 spit black. Amen. Yeah. yeah. Right. Amen. He, he he worked on that. He worked second shift up there, and during the day he'd work on that on that on that farm. And that fellow was letting him work off that house. Yeah. That's how he's gonna buy his house, working off working that working that farm. Yeah. And it's just a one little one bedroom house. But see, he had four kids already. But then my aunt Judy, I was talking about the other night. Last night she 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 wasn't born until 1969, just before she was even born. But uh, he was he would go out there and he'd, he'd work at farm all day. And he had a 1960 Chevrolet pickup truck. Come on, somebody say yeah. that. Yeah. Amen. I'm feeling God pretty good. <laughs> Amen. I wish that 60 Chevrolet pickup truck still existed. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Amen. And he had a. Had them had a wife, had four kids, had a 1960 Chevrolet sedan. And uh the problem is, the problem is, you probably heard tell this before, I believe, over in over in Texas, I think, but hopefully you remember it's real bad. The problem <laughs> with, with Grand Paul's Chevrolet pickup truck and that Chevrolet sedan is he only had one motor. Yeah. He didn't have a motor for the car. Yeah, he had to have that, he had to have that truck. Yeah. He had to have that truck for the farm. He had to go get feed. Mm -hmm. He had to he had to go get a all, all the stuff he'd use from the from the supply house and he'd drive that thing back and forth to work and use it all week Monday through Friday. And then what he'd do, what he'd do, he he got saved so he wanted to get his kids yeah. to the house of God on yeah. Sunday. Yeah. So I don't, know, I don't know if you young people have ever heard of this but there's a thing called chores. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. And I asked somebody day, you want know, chores on? They said, Yeah. And I said, Do you get paid for them? She said, No. <laughs> I said, That's right, I didn't need them. Yeah. Allowance, they allowed me to eat something. Right. Somebody yeah. said, Hey, man. That's right. They allowed me to have my own plate. Yeah. Yeah. That's good preaching right there, Amen. Yeah. Amen. And on good days, we got a biscuit for yeah. Somebody said, We had pintos and taters every night. We didn't get taters, liars. It was just pintos. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So he. What he'd do for chores, he'd get them kids together, get them helping because he needs some helping. My dad's oldest, and there's a girl between him and the next boy. So they all, they all just lived like a year apart. It wasn't just a year apart. In fact, in fact my dad was truthfully, if I be honest, he's adopted by his mom's sister and her husband. That, that's all always called my grandparents. He, they raised him the time he was three weeks old. And uh, he, they, he was the big one. They, and they say that the big ones, that was too little too. But then, then three big ones, they'd say, Daddy, Daddy, I want to drive the car, I want to drive the car. What they do, they had this chain. Y'all listening to me? Yeah. Stay with me. They ahead. had a chain. Yeah, I love it. They had a chain in a tree. Yeah, man. And on yeah. Saturday morning, they'd take it, they'd pull, he'd pull that truck down there, that yeah. three speed on the car. He'd pull that truck down there, and he'd undo the, he'd undo the, the, the transmission clutch, yeah. fresh plate. Yeah. He'd undo the motor mounts, he'd drop yeah. that chain. Down there inside that motor, he'd pull that joker out. I mean, I'm talking about they they pull it out, not by a chain horse, but by a chain. Right. And they'd pull that motor up out of that pickup truck. Then they'd say, hey, daddy, can I drive? They'd take turns. Yeah. And they'd push that truck out of the way. Yeah. They'd let one of the kids pull that truck off. Then the other say, hey, daddy, can I drive? Can I drive? And then one of them kids would pop in there and the other say, you're going to push that car yeah. up underneath that train and drop that motor down inside that car. And you think I'm playing with you. I'm not talking about this happening once. Right. This is what they did every Saturday. 
Springs Baptist Church here. It took that long for our kids to be a road here. Took an hour and 25. Went to bypass over our then. You know, you stand up on the other side of us if our new sailor when we was kids. You can imagine what we want. It took an hour and 25, hour and 30 minutes to run a pit. But before 4 o'clock, he'd pull that car yep. up underneath that truck <laughs> and yank that motor out, push it out of the way, put that truck back down there and drop that motor back in and make it to work at 4 o'clock come home plow fields and then midnight. No way. Amen. Yeah. Come home plow fields oh, in the dark. And since so I lay down and put my head in the wheel of that tractor and I'd say, oh God, I want you to save my family. God, what you yeah. do in my life. Yeah. I want you to do it in my life. God, what Calvary's no done for me. Yes, God, I want you to do it. I ain't gonna preach on these two, but in that same thought, man. Preach on, bro. The labors that help, there's a there's a fervent intuition about how they got up there. They let him down. There's a whole lot had to go into that. Amen. I didn't read where they brought ropes. Right? That's good. Amen. Amen. Hey man, hey said they broke the house top up. Hey uh, that's a whole new meaning to raising the roof. Can I get a witness? Hey man, hey said they says they they broke it up too. So when they, and when they had broken it up, yeah, yeah. yeah. right. I always found a lot of times when anything really be used, got to be broken anyway. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's right. oh, I know. Best I can tell, maybe. They broke that thing up to help get him down. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Amen. That's right, brother. And I'll tell you what they did there. By breaking it up, they went to a place where all the bridges were burned. Yeah. He couldn't go back. He was gone. Amen. Oh, Amen. I'm telling you, if you ever want to get over palsy, I... You burn all them bridges behind you. You break them up and destroy them. There's nothing left of that crowd. And it's only God. Amen. intuition. And then there's a faithful. These laborers help. There's a faithful intercession. Here's what, here's what Jesus and... Here's what he said. Let me get my glasses on. I can't see from the tears already. <laughs> Good preaching, brother. Verse 5, when Jesus saw their faith. <laughs> you think they wasn't helping? You think you're getting somebody to God's not important? Amen. <laughs> God's going to look at your faith. I've, I've had some smart at say, well, you mean that because they they had faith? You know, look, faith ain't just b believing faith. Right, faith right. shows faithfulness. Right. Right. But you smart enough right. if you want to yeah. put it into that. <laughs> he saw their faith. That included him. Yeah. 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 He yeah. Was, did y'all know that there is plural yeah. for a group of these? 
snort, Alec. Amen. Don't you love when you come across some Bible believer, thinker, my yeah. goodness saints, he's right. smart. What are you going to do with this one? Yeah. I'm going to make you look dumb in a minute. Amen. Right. Amen. Love it. Amen. Amen. Go. You right. asked for it. Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh. Amen. 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 Go. It's all their faith. That includes yes. him. Yes, sir. That's so good. Faithful intercession. Woo. So the Lord's in the house. And <coughs> secondly, the labor's held. And lastly, notice this. Dwayne heard. That's right. He heard. Notice. Amen. Notice. Verse number. Verse number. Oh, 10. Yeah. Yeah, it'd be all right. Let's say nine with it. Whether well, is it easier to say to the sick of the palsy, Thy sins be forgiven thee, or the same lies? Take up thy bed and walk. This is in question. But that you may know that the Son of Man hath power on earth to forgive sins. He saith to the sick of the palsy, I say unto thee, now notice this, Arise, and take up thy bed, so I'm going to show you. I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do, and I'm going to do it. Amen. Amen. That's right. <laughs> Go thy way into thine house. And immediately he arose, took up the bed, and went forth before them all, insomuch that they were all amazed and glorified God, yeah. saying we never saw it on this fashion. The key here is not what Jesus was trying to uh, display to uh, right. these scribes, i like to say clearly in verse number 5, I do believe that their intent was to bring this man sick of the palsy to the Lord, possibly in curiosity or for the cure, maybe to critique him if he could not heal him himself. Right. I don't really know. But I do know that their intentions were to get him to God if they could. That is the obvious. Amen. With their faith, them Christ seeing their faith, I believe he understood that it was good intentions and not that of a harmful nature. Amen. But he did not say, Arise, take up thy bed and walk. That's right. Go ahead, preacher. Now, if we read the end of the text, we uh, we do see that when he did that, it blew out. Right. Right. Most would be uh, more thrilled by the Actions of the folks glorifying God never seen on this fashion. Right. But what's greater had already taken place. That's right. His sins had been forgiven. Amen. 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 Right, Amen. Amen. But here in verse 11 and verse 12, he's been commanded. Now, listen. Listen. Faith requires action. Amen. That's right. Yes, sir. Oh, that's good for you. Nobody, nobody in Hebrews 11 just believed harder. That's right. Amen. <laughs> Amen. By faith, Abel offered more excellent sacrifice. Yes, sir. By faith, Noah prepared an ark. Yeah. By faith, Abraham sojourned in the far country. Amen. Yes, sir. By faith, Abraham offered Isaac. Amen. 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 By faith, Abraham, Isaac dug the wills of his father. By, by faith, Isaac blessed uh, uh, Jacob and Esau. And, uh, excuse me, by faith, Jacob blessed all his sons. And by, by faith, old, old Joseph, he, he, uh, he, he, he made mention of his bones. Amen. By faith, Moses chose rather be suffered with the, with the affliction of the people of God than join the pleasures of sin for a season. Yeah, amen. 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 Am I right? By faith, they all did something. Amen. That's right. They didn't just believe hard. That's right, brother. Faith always going to require obedience. Right. Yes, sir. And as I say that, listen now. This man was, God was going to require by faith that he act in obedience. Amen. When Abraham offered, offered Isaac, he said, Now I know because thou hast obeyed my voice. God's looking for obedience. Now I know that loves me because I obeyed my voice. God's just looking for our obedience. Yes, sir, he is. So I'm saying he heard and he acted in obedience. That being said, we see here a work of healing. Yep. He, he said, Arise, he arose. 
Yeah. Why is that? He said, he said in verse number, um, verse number 10, but that you may know that the Son of Man hath power on earth. Okay, so the first is to show that God is omnipotent. That's a work of healing. Yeah, he yeah. said, Arise, he arose to show that, that the Son of Man, that Jesus Christ, has power on earth. Amen. 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 Right? Then, then, then there's a walk of honor. He went forth. He said, Amen. Take it by men, walk. He says, he, he arose and went forth. Amen. That's an action. He's, and here, in this action, glory is offered. He's shouting, they're shouting, everybody's shouting. Amen. Makes good sense now. So he said, Arise and 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 walk, basically. That little section in the middle, take up thy bed. That's strange. Look, if I've been laying that thing, God knows how long. The last thing I will do when I can finally walk is pick it up. Amen. Let's see if I got this right. The rise, he arose. We know he's in a minute, he'll go forth. But in between that, he should take up the bed. Yeah. Amen. That's good. Now, y'all do understand he's, this Paul's, he's absolutely lame to his feet. He's crippled. Right. He has no feeling. He has no mobility. Right. He's got both. He's got worse. Yeah, you're right. And, and, and if we if we understand palsy correctly, if we understand it correctly. It's something that happens. It happens either at birth, right. ends maybe three months. It's written the first twenty eight days. <laughs> He's been this way as an adult. Amen. Yeah, amen. He's been here a long time. Amen. amen. I've not read about his parents. Right, not read about his people. Come on, brother. Amen. Best I can tell, he lays there knew about all the time. Amen. When he has to go to the restroom, yep. he goes right there. Right. When he eats, he drools. One of the, one of the symptoms, so one of the one of the one of the uh, symptoms of cerebral palsy, they drool. That's right. Uh, they have to have their food gelled. They'll choke on it. They'll aspirate and they'll cough and choke on their food all the time. They, they smooth it. Well, I'm not trying to sound grotesque, but there's vomiting. There, there's, there's urine wow. and, and feces. Yeah. Yeah. Right. yeah, come on, brother. Right. He's been laying there all the years. And yeah. In that stink, in that filth, yeah. uh, yeah. that yeah. ungodliness, yeah. and that balance, yeah. he finally got a chance to get up. Uh, and the God who told him to get up said, Take up that bed. Yeah. About you and me, but I've been hesitant. Amen. Why? Why, God? Why? Somebody say, Amen. Sure, I ain't the only one here that ain't spiritual tonight. I was not saved. I wasn't the most spiritual person. He didn't know what to do with that side of faith and just believe God. He knew this, and he did it up. He's got a reason for me to pick up bed up. He just picked it up. Right. They said, go forth. They went forth. They started shouting. Everybody started shouting. Amen. Can't you imagine? As he walked out, goes to go to your own country. Here he is. He's on his way. He don't know why. But listen. Listen, preacher. I never read. Never read anywhere in any of the Gospels. That boy put that bed down. Amen. That's right. good. Here he is. He's walking along. Somebody said, hey, boy. What you doing? Carrying that stinking old, rotten, filthy, nasty, ungodly, smelly, right. hot with you. Yeah. Have you lost your mind? What's wrong with you? Amen. He said, well, all I know is I used to lay on me. Yes. Amen. Yeah. 
I'll just keep carrying around. Amen. Amen. In case anybody wants to know. That's right. Amen. I'll be sure of them know the Nazarene helped me. Amen. I don't know about you, but I got a little caught. Amen. Amen. Amen, our brother. That's right. I got some pollutant filled. Yeah, brother. Oh, yeah. Every now and then I. Still feel that old baggage around. Yeah. Amen. Every now and then, even, every now and then, even for me, Brother Harvest, every now and then there's still some old Pharisees mm-hmm. that'll pop up and say, Yeah. 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 I still got some. I, I still got some thinking when I'm going to quit. Yeah. <laughs> Amen, brother. Amen. Amen. My daddy law. My daddy law. He passed away. How many years is now? Eight? Good years. years ago. <laughs> Up until the last two years of his life, we, we moved next door, built, built right beside him. He got real sick one time, and we owned the property anyway, so we just built it our son to help look care, take care of it. And he got, he, he, now listen, before we lived beside him, if they come to the house, which he don't get in, go out much, he wasn't that kind of person. He come in, he go to my refrigerator, so look, you know, don't worry about it. Don't see any beer now. Yeah. Man, first he made me, so I'm just seeing any beer here yet. 
I mean, you know, 15 years later, he's still looking. He quit saying what he's doing, but he goes, right. open the door, close up. The last two years. The last two. He quit looking. Live next door, come here. I mean, that one come four or five times a week. That went to the refrigerator. Yeah. That's good, brother. And why is the witness on? Right. Yes, sir. That's right. Why sure good right there, yeah. please? Oh, it's good. Oh, yeah. You know, he, he quit seeing the cop. Right. <laughs> he started seeing the Christ. Yeah. 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 Hey, you might have to carry the wild. Right. But thank God once. Yeah. They'll yeah. quit seeing yeah. the junk that's in you. Right. And see the Jesus that's in you now. Thank God for a witness of hope, a gospel opportunity. Thank God you're here. Amen, preacher. You're here. Amen. <laughs> yeah. One more note on them boys, and I'm done. Great job, bro. They let him down there. Never read where they went down in there. Right. God looked up at him. He saw their fate. Amen. He may not always be the one down there in the limelight. Right? He's a God. That's right. <laughs> That's right. He's a God. Has seen what you do in the house. Don't have the crowd get with the sick boys up there. They didn't have to get down there, see. All they knew had to do is lower one in. Yeah. Amen. You may not always be the bright, shining one that everybody's got their eyes on. Yeah. You don't have to be the That's pastor. Right. You don't That's have to right. be the pulpit. You don't have to That's sing right. the specials. That's but right. you're still important in yes, God's eyes. It's That's you, right. it's you. Right. That'll right. get somebody yes. to God. Most important things you'll do in ministry will never be seen by anybody but him. Amen. 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 Thank God for what he allows me to do. But it's the things people never see me do. That's right, brother. That's exactly yeah. right. It's what makes the rest of it possible. Right. Amen. Amen. Down. Down. Let down. God expects you to immediately. Right. Yes. And immediately. They let down the sick of the palsy. And immediately he arose. <laughs> Amen. Amen. You put an exclamation point on my sentence, friends. Let's stand. Amen.